For patients, especially this group of patients that are over 65, they're highly motivated for treatment. You know, your driver's license is on the line, your ability to visualize faces or recognize faces is affected because this is affecting the central part of your vision. So for them, when, they, when this occurs, this can really rob them of their independence. And that's one of the biggest problems with this disease. Macular degeneration is a degenerative disease of the retina that typically affects people 55 or 60 and older. And it typically runs in two forms. There's the dry form that affects about 85 to 90 percent of patients, and then there's the wet form that affects about 15 percent of the patients. And what differentiates the two is the formation of an abnormal blood vessel, and that occurs in the wet form. For dry macular degeneration, you may not have any symptoms at all. It may be a very slow decline in vision over a number of years, over decades, but it's typically just picked up on a routine eye examination, so you may not ever know that you have it. Whereas the wet form, you may wake up or during a day you may notice a blank spot in your vision or, or things look curved to you, there's a distortion in your vision. And the most important thing is that if you notice a problem, if your vision starts to blur centrally or you start to notice distortion, it's very important that you come in right away. The earlier that you can treat this, the more effective the treatments are. When patients get the wet form of macular degeneration, especially if it's in the earlier stages, we're able to treat them with injections into the eye itself or intravitreal injections. These injections in the eye are very beneficial and really stop the progression of the disease when used on a regular basis. They, they are the most effective treatment that we have. 90% of patients typically maintain or improve their vision and about a third of the patients gain three or more lines on an eye chart. So dry macular degeneration, the standard treatment right now is what we call AREDS vitamins and it's a special formulation of vitamins that slows the progression of dry macular degeneration by about 25 percent. Other things that we ask patients to do with dry macular degeneration, stop smoking. Smoking is probably the number one cause of progression of dry macular degeneration. So we ask patients to stop smoking, we ask them to eat green leafy vegetables, basically live a very healthy lifestyle. The New England Eye Center at Tufts Medical Center is a multi-specialty ophthalmology practice. Macular degeneration is a disorder that, that only affects the retina or the back of the eye. Uh, myself and my partners specialize in this. This is what we do on a daily basis. We are specialty trained in retinal and vitreous diseases. We perform a number of clinical trials in both wet and dry macular degeneration and are always actively recruiting patients. We write multiple textbooks, papers, uh, and are at the forefront of treatment in macular degeneration.